hi everyone welcome to my channel in this video we are we are going to look at how to analyze multiple response survey data where the responses are separated by a spaced limiter in the previous video if you've not watched you can go and check it out we looked at how to uh analyze comma separated multiple response survey data and where we, we are able to divide the responses the number of responses by the number of respondents in the p4 table and this will allow you to even uh design dashboards to automate your analysis and drill down uh for insight so let's get started so here um a bit of context so we we have a survey data where we ask respondents which of the following uh devices do, do you own so with the checkbook check check boxes uh respondents are able to select more than one so uh in 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 this case we have the responses uh where they are separated by uh comma uh by space so for example the second respondent select a desktop computer and a tablet and they are separated by space delimiter so depending on the survey platform that you are using to collect your data you may have your data coming in this form. so how do you handle this all right so let's get started so first you need to convert your uh your data if it is not already in the table into a table and you have something like this so once you have this uh you go to data uh from data you go to from table and range and load it load it up to power query data all right so we have our data here we can name it uh data option two all right so once we have our data table here uh what you do is that you go to the multiple response column which is question five the last column uh so first we, what we need to do is to close this space between the responses so how do we do that so you select the column you go to replace values this is on the home tab you can also find it uh, uh under the transform tab so uh once you click on replace values you have a dollar this will show uh up you press the space bar so once you press the space bar uh and hit okay and you have all the spaces close up so now after this uh you go to split column uh here what we want to do is that we want to tell excel that uh where uh, a response ends with a lower case uh, the next response begins with an upper case. So we are telling Excel that, uh, split these two, uh, cases into separate columns. And then once we do that, we have all our responses. Uh, so we have, we are splitting by lower case to upper case. So once we click that, all the responses will be separated into different columns. So the next thing is to select all these responses, all these columns. And then go to transform from transform you go to and pivot only selected columns all right so when you do this two columns will be added so we don't need this one which is the question column we remove it and this is our multiple response uh column okay so we can uh name it question five devices uh they own so devices respondents own. all right so uh what will happen is that this is the column that we are going to use to uh look at the number of uh uh responses for each of the devices all right so um once we are done we'll go to home close and load to data model all right so here what we want to do is we we want to uh, generate a pivot table so we, we check this one uh in an existing sheet uh which is this sheet so we click on that sheet go down then select okay and the pivot table will pop up all right so once this this pop pops up what we do is that we need to this is the table that we have on pivot and this is the uh, multiple response columns that we have uh, finally drived okay so what what we we'll do is that we we'll pick this this column and drop it on the row folds inside the row fold. All right. Then uh, the next thing we want to do 
we want to count this responses using the ID. All right, so we'll pick this and drop it in the values first. Now, by default, uh, Power Query, uh, in pivot tables, uh, when uh, a column is numeric, uh, by default, it will, it will be summed up. All right, but we don't need this. So we can right click, uh, here and then go to summarize values by distinct count. This is what we want. All right. So once we have this, uh, we can sort it, the largest to smallest, and the grand total here is the number of respondents. And this is what we need. So if you divide this by, uh, if you summarize by just count, this sum here will be number of responses, but we don't want this. We want to divide by number of respond dance. All right, so once we have this, right click, uh, show values by percentage of column total. We have this and you are done. Okay, so just before you go, one thing you have to look at is you see that this response is uh, a kind of uh, you know, close up. So we need to make that clear by just editing out this. Then we also have feature phone. Uh, pick this out. Uh, and then you are, you are done. Okay. So, uh, for space separated limiter, uh, where a survey data comes in that case, after you have done this, you need to edit out, uh, kind of review the responses here. Where they are kind of closer, you just edit out. So one disadvantage of this kind of uh, multiple response data is that uh, anytime a new data comes or when you refresh your data, uh, this responses that you have kind of edited out of change. So you may have to look at alternative ways of exporting the data if the platform that you're using to analyze the data uh, has that option. So that's um, for where you are designing a dashboard, uh, you wouldn't have a bit of uh, issues. All right, that's it. See you in the next video.